All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course, and we put the final touches on the back end portion of our medical chatbot. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. Like I said, we put the last few touches on it, so we're going to do some light reading, and I'm going to show exactly what we have and what's going on next. So yesterday, we left off at the prompt template, I believe, or prompt. So now that we have our prompt, we can create our prompt template. You can see that's what we have here, prompt equals prompt template. The template is going to be input variable context question, chain type quarks, prompt is going to be prompt. Next, we will load our llama model. This is how we do that. LLM equals C transformers. The model is going to be the model I specified earlier. That uh, 27B chat ggmlv 3 q Model type is going to be llama. Configuration is going to be max new tokens, 512. That's how many tokens we want the max for each iteration or each response. And temperature is going to be 0 0.8. The temperature is how creative the, the model can be. I think zero is, is going to be strictly business. And uh, anything above zero is going to be more creative. So it could come up with creative responses. Or it may be opposite. I'm sorry about that. I have to uh, double check. But the temperature deals with the creativity of the model. It's either going to be very creative or it's going to stick strictly to the facts. Now, once our model is loaded, the next thing we will do is create our question and answer an object. And for this, we will use a retrieval. You can see we have that here. QA equals retrieval QA from chain type. And this is our question answering right here. Let's move down a little bit. Now, the next thing we can do is ask a question using a while true loop. Now, this while true loop will take input from the user. Then it will ask the question to our LLM. And finally, our LLM will print a response. So you can see we have our while true. Use the input equals input. And it's going to open up an input. When we do run it, it's going to open up an input box where we input our question. That question that gets into our model. Our model will print a response or a final actual answer for us. That's basically everything that has to do with the back end of our medical chatbot. So it is basically done. Now, the only thing we have to do now is work on the front end. As you can see, the next the next phase will be the front end. That's the uh, like the user, the uh, the user friendliness and the beautification of the model. But yeah, so the back end is basically done and it can be ran now. Let me show you what it looks like in our code, the strictly code version. That's this here. So you can see we have everything we have. The new stuff is the prompt templates. C transformers, the question answering, and our wild true loop. And then, of course, I'll show you what it looks like over in our in our uh, Google Colab notebook. So you can see here we have everything up to date here. Now, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to dive right into the uh, the front end tomorrow. I may just take my time and put everything together over here in the Google Colab. Like bringing over all the files and actually starting to run everything and see how that goes. So since the whole the entire backend is done, I may just do that instead of starting the next phase. I'm going to bring over all the files, like the uh, the PDFs, over all the requirements. I'm going to do all of the downloading and bring over all the imports, and then I'll start running each cell one by one, starting from the top. So we're going to run all of this stuff here, make sure everything goes hand in hand and everything is working the way it should be. But that's basically it. Our model, our model chatbot is done. So we can uh, start running it now. So like I said, tomorrow we will start implementing these uh, things here. And we will start testing our model out. Now, I'm not expecting I'm not going to say I'm not expecting it. But it's, re it's really rare that it's going to run right out the gate for the first time with no hiccups. But yeah, we'll see tomorrow when we start running things and see how it goes. But of course, I will keep you posted every step of the way. For now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.